this video you will see how to build and true a DT Swiss Spline 1. When building a new wheel, we start with the hub. One by one, we have to slide the spokes through the spoke holes on the hub. Best is to turn the hub clockwise after placing each spoke. In the next step, we can now mount all spokes in the opposite direction. We turn the hub clockwise again and we take care that the spoke pattern is correctly applied. When we finished all the spokes on the first side of the wheel, we can turn over the hub and repeat everything on the second side. Turn the hub clockwise and make sure the new spokes follow the correct pattern. Take care to interweave all spokes. Before we can connect the spoke tree to the rim, we have to prepare the nipples and washers. In order to ease the assembly of the wheel, it is helpful to grease the contact area between the nipple and the washer. Now slide the washer over the nipple on the side where the square profile is. The arch side of the nipple must point upwards. Before we can connect the spoke tree with the rim, we have to align the rim correctly. Turn the spoke tree until one of the large spaces in between the spokes is located at the valve hole. Now we can move the nipple and washer through the rim bed and screw it onto the matching spoke. Repeat the steps on all the spokes and screw the nipple onto the spokes just until the thread starts to disappear. When finished, place the wheel in the truing stand and increase spoke tension.
To prevent the spokes from turning in the hub, we can use a flat nose plier. Take care not to scratch the surface of the spokes. Alternatively, we can also use a rubber coated glove to increase grip on the spokes. Check if the nipple sits correctly in the rim profile. Turn the nipple slowly and slightly push from the back to move it into place. Spoke tension can now be increased. When spoke tension has been increased and when the wheel was roughly pre-trued, de-stress the wheel for the first time. The wheel should rest on its spokes and the axle should not touch the table. De-stressing the wheel will move twisted spokes back into its natural position. An alternative to the shown DT Swiss Torx nipple wrench, we can also use a DT spoke key. When using a DT spoke key, Make sure to move it all the way down onto the profile of the nipple, otherwise the nipple will get damaged. When truing the wheel, we want to optimize lateral and radial run out of the wheel as well as the dish. If you use the T-bar Torx wrench, you should take care to slide the tool all the way onto the Torx profile of the nipple before you turn the wrench. If you do not place the tool correctly, the nipple will get damaged and in worst case will be destroyed. In order to produce a spot on true wheel, you have to regularly check the spoke tension on the spokes of the wheel. Check on the drive side of the rear wheel and on the disc side of the front wheel. It is best to use a DT tensometer. After truing the wheel, you'll have to de-stress it. The wheel should rest on its spokes and the axle should not touch the table. De-stressing the wheel will move twisted spokes back into its natural position. Following the de-stress, the wheel should be placed in the truing stand again. Lateral and radial run out as well as the spoke tension is checked again. Repeat truing and de-stress until the wheel stays perfectly trued. When the wheel is finished, you can mount it onto the bicycle. Take care to follow all safety instructions of the bike producer and frame maker. DT Swiss wishes you good luck and have a fun ride. Thank you.